At Minnesota, they have everything from a Heisman to a Nagurski in their rich legacy. And today in Minneapolis, the Golden Gophers hope to add another memorable chapter. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Iowa Hawkeyes, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Golden Gophers will kick it away to start. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Iowa's offense will get the first possession of the game. The Gophers and the Hawkeyes clash for one of the great trophies in all of sports, rich in tradition. They're playing for Floyd of Rosedale, guys. Anytime it's a trophy game, you know the intensity is going to be at a different level. These two teams, they circle this game all season long. Got a lot of running room. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. How about an RD? What a start. You want to come out and say, I'm going to be aggressive. We're going to take shots. We're going to make big plays. Look no further than the first play of the game. What a start. The Hawkeyes will hustle to the line. To the air on first down. Quickly complete. He saw man coverage and the idea just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let it work, David. See man and see the cushion and see the guy back up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. To the air. It's McNamara. Throws to the tight end. It's caught. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Man, he looks like he's in a rhythm on this drive, right? Three for three. He's going where he needs to go with the football. The defense doesn't have any answers for him. Find the offensive coordinator. I'm letting this guy keep chucking it down here close to the goal line. They are really clicking along first and goal on just the fourth play of the drive. They want to throw it. Grab near the marker. It's Howard. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! And they score first. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Minnesota's offense will have its first possession of the game. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it, the awareness, the ability to see the ball, to break on the football, and he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking the safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball because this safety is a different breed. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. They'll go right back to it. That'll be a gain of about seven, leaves it with third and three. A lot of hard-fought, memorable games in this rivalry. The Gophers took a close one last year. And they've been gloating about it and celebrating that win last year all year long. Not just the fans, but every day in the facility, the players get to walk by the Floyd of Rosedale Trophy, sitting in that trophy case all polished up. They want to keep it there another year. 
Absolutely, you want to keep there. You want to build on the tradition. Everybody it matters so much to everybody in the organization. The fans, these trophy games, it means just a little bit more. That's what makes college football so special. The Golden Gophers come to the line with a new set of downs. The give on the inside. Still on his feet at the 45. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. The run from the shotgun. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. This rivalry between Iowa and Minnesota even predates Floyd or Rosedale. Goes all the way back to 1891, guys. Crazy to think about a rivalry going that far. And it's passed down and the uniforms changes and the names change. But it's so cool, the history of this intact. People keeping track of the records, and it means something to those players back then and to these now. Yeah, tradition, that's one of the things that makes college football the greatest sport in the world. And the fact that you get to have these trophy games, Floyd of Rosedale, are you kidding me? This is a game you've got to tune into. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll put the tight end in motion. Trying to pick it up on the ground. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. Offense threatening, first and 10 from the 31. Might as well give it to him again. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground. Short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, running back gets the gift. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. Back to throw, it's Brosmer. Fires to the middle. It's complete. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down the best one <laughs> I mean I think the open one obviously the politically correct answer but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with you know exactly where he's going to be you got that bond and that trust a first down run on the doorstep he bullies his way all the way down to the five yard line Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Trying to power it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Minnesota! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise at the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TV. They'll 
will try to tack one more on their score. Right down the boulevard. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Returner will field it and try to get some field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Iowa has the ball back on offense. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. Power football with the run. Tackle is made after the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but i got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Scanning the field, it's McNamara. Unleashes it. It's caught downfield. Can anyone catch him? Touchdown, Iowa! And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 66 yards to the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. If you like old-fashioned, grinded-up, run-over-em football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. After the misconnection, it's second down. Looking to throw, it's Brosmer. He's got his man. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I love early in the game getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. The play action fake. Fires to the tight end. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. Third down, the focus of the defense has to shift. It has to change. We have to understand now exactly where the sticks are. We can't give up those plays for them to get beyond the sticks and get those first downs. And the Golden Gophers will snap it on first and 10. Taylor has it. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll go to the ground. And 
a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Outside the pocket, lets it go. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. You saw it right there on that play. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking to throw, it's Grosmer. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. The marker is at the 35, and they need to get it there to convert third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Snagged in the middle. It's Jackson. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. We're through one, and what a back and forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. From the 33, it's first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Gets it out quickly. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. And he's got it! Touchdown, Golden Gophers! Nice job by the quarterback there of just letting the play develop. He had his eyes down in the middle of the field, and I think when he saw that deep middle area vacated, he said to himself, I've got a guy running right into that area. I'm throwing this thing on time. This is going to be a touchdown, and that's exactly what happened. Smashes it through for the PAT. They march 78 yards down the field, and they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I gotta score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you, for sure, to feel like I gotta make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I gotta hit them, too. We can't let our serve get broken. Here's the handoff. 
able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. To throw, it's McNamara. Unloads to the right. Wide open downfield. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Wide receiver shows motion. They go to the ground. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And they can't make the connection on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? So now on comes the field goal unit. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. And he's got it counted all the way to 55. Never in doubt. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Minnesota has it back in the gopher offense is headed onto the field. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. In football, you hear the term quick, but don't hurry. And you can tell when you run these RPOs, the QBs want to make that decision quick. And he, I think he hurried it a little bit too much. Got the ball out quick, but obviously was inaccurate with his pass. Let's see what they've got on second down. They move the tight end all over. Wants to throw. It's Brosmer. And the pressure was all over him in the blink of an eye. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Almost had the completion, just missed it. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody on the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. The Golden Gophers will punt this one away. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. The handoff to Johnson. 
You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll toss it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Caught near the sticks. It's Brown. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. He'll keep it himself. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Yeah, it happened. The QB causes on number and all these options. Obviously, multiple plays. He decides to stick with it, get some positive yards, and, and now, what's next off of that? What's my next read off of that? How am I going to mix things up and keep this defense off balance? Here on second down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Running back searching for a hole. And the 35, he's got room. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. It's so hard to play defense when you've got things in front of you. Everybody going one direction, somebody coming back the other direction. You can't trust your eyes. Really good job by the offense, giving you some eye candy, something to look at so it wasn't easy coming downhill right at you. Hard to diagnose plays. Looking to throw, it's McNamara. Fires to the middle. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Hawkeyes will line it up on first and ten. They're looking to pass from the red zone. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. Off the play fake. Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Well, that score leaves you with a burning question. Who had that dude? Whoever it was wasn't close. No, and the receiver was able to run right by him and, and get to the end zone and, and camp out and put up his tent and build the fire and fill up the coffee pot and just about everything else in time before the guy decided to even get remotely close to him. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They took it 71 yards down the field, and they finished things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. 
The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stop forward and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you scored here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. From the gun, running back on the move. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're gonna have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Back to throw, it's Brosmer. They're working that left side. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job, be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passive situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. On second down, he'll fire. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. He's got it. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. From the gun, they'll try the middle. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. To the productive first down play at second and six. The give is to Taylor. And they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They've been very good at moving the chains on third down. Two for two on this drive. This time they need six. Pressure coming. And the quarterback is snowed under. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism. He's got length. He's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that sack. And the Golden Gophers send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Iowa has the ball back on offense. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they were really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Offense gets set for second down. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking downfield, it's McNamara. 
got his man on the right. He'll be tackled at the 49 after a pickup of five. Well, they're able to complete the hitch throw against man coverage, and hey, quarterback's got to be able to get it to him quickly because he knows that defender is going to be driving on the ball. So really nice job, not hesitating, getting it to him, and then he gets what he can get after the catch. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Catch in the middle, it's Lachey. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Unloads to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in the first half. The Hawkeyes have it with a first and 10. Looking to throw it again. Fires to the wideout. Incompleted. Man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Oh, that hit him in a bad spot, right in the hands. Great play. You still get a pass breakup, but man, that could have been an interception by the defender there. Nice break on the football, but secure that big fellow. Get the six. Get the pick six. On second down, they'll take to the air. Throws to the wideout. He caught it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Iowa. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they now have a three possession lead at 17. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Back to pass, it's Brosmer. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it, because you've dug yourself a significant hole. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. The defense's head may still be spinning. They're just outside the red zone now, first and 10 from the 22. Finds his tight end. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackling. The Golden Gophers are threatening in the red zone. Looking to pass on second down. Makes a connection. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And now a chance not only to cut into the lead, but play it just right. And maybe the other team... He snares it in the end zone! Touchdown, Minnesota! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. My 
lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 31-21. They put together a five-way, 75-yard drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. He'll come out throwing on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Brown. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. That is an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding the window between the zones and delivering that ball on top. Looking for a man, it's McNamara. He's got his man. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water balls, man. You can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. Gonna let it fly. And that pass is intercepted. Bringing it back. He's on the 40. The 20. And he's gonna run it all the way back. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 31-28. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. here from the tight end. Leaves it with the back. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level and he's got some speed. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who would have thought a bronze pig could turn two level-headed fan bases into emotional tornadoes? But that's exactly what you get in the fight for the Floyd of Rosedale Trophy. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one, thanks to two of the best receiving four in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that, let's send it back to the guys to see how the fight between Minnesota and Iowa plays out. And the Hawkeyes will kick it away to start the second half. A 
and he's going to try to return this one. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They'll start the third quarter with the run. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. To the air, it's Brosmer. Fires to the tight end. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. Fires to the big fella. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. As a tight end, if you're going to be good in the passing game, you've got to be able to feel the windows when defenses play zone coverage. He did a really good job of that right there. He didn't rush. He didn't hurry. He took his time, found the soft spot, and gave his quarterback an easy place to throw the football. And here comes the offense on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Williams. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fair catch called for and made. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big game. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. They'll give it to him again. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. The give is to Williams. And this one will be stopped for no gain. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Now facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's McNamara. Looking left. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. The Hawkeyes will call on their punt team. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. 
David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. They'll run play action. Looking to the big tight end. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Well, that's another completion. This quarterback's on fire. I get it. He's thrown for over 200 yards in this game, but it's because he's got people helping him out. How about that incredible job diving out, stretching out, and hauling that pass in? Quarterbacks love it when they don't have to be perfect every time they throw the football. And this group of receivers, they are helping out their QB1. Unloads to the wideout. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. The incompletion on first down leaves him with second and 10 from the 43. Caught behind the line, it's Williams. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. He has been in see ball, get ball mode all day, and he is making his mark in this rivalry game, guys. I'll tell you, he was sick and tired of reading about and hearing about the offenses coming into this one. This guy had his own designs and his own plans. He has been balling, David, all over the field. And it's so fun. A rivalry game, you have so much emotion, so much passion. Well, guess what? You can let that out on defense. And defense, you can fly around, make plays, and He's been doing it all game long. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting up field. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. Number and as a result now, fourth down. And the Golden Gophers will punt it away on fourth down. They'll look to pin him deep. Bringing it back, it's Brown. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark it down. Iowa has the ball back on offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll give it to Johnson. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Back to pass. It's McNamara. Fires to the wideout. He makes the catch. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. This is the kind of performance, guys, that sort of etches your name in the roar of a rivalry. And playing big in this big moment on this big stage, it is so nice to have a playmaker like that that you can highlight, that you can focus on, that you can trust in. He was so excited coming into this game, too, because he knows that oftentimes your legacy as a player is defined by how you play in rivalry games like this. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Trying play action. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They'll go to the air on third and short. Finds his man. It's Gill. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. 
on third down, man. You'd think this offense would want to throw it down the field, at least past the sticks. With this defense and their athleticism and speed, they gobble him up behind the line of scrimmage. And the Hawkeyes line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. And now on second down for this offense. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. They're getting this guy lathered up. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him on in the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Taylor has it. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. Quarterback extends the play, and he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. There was just nowhere to go with the football for the quarterback throwing it. So he tried to create, he tried to extend the play with his legs, just not able to get away from the defense. And now we have fourth down. The Golden Gophers decide to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. They'll give it to the back. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Touch pass on the jet sweep. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put it at push passes. <laughs> when I was playing quarterback, I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend, it's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. Man, he had to get rid of that thing. I don't even think he had time to find the laces, but he picks up the first down. Yeah, and that's a great job. You know, third and short, the defense is bringing pressure. He sees the pressure, gets the football out, and gets just enough for the first down. The give to the tailback. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down in second and seven. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. And you want to talk about 
about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Catch in the middle, it's Lachey. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. The handoff to Johnson. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. At this point in the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? This drive has already drained more than three minutes off the clock, and now they've got it on second down. Looking for a man. It's McNamara. It's caught. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out on the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think of. Five yards away from another third down conversion on this drive. They're already two for two. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. From the gun, the running back has it. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Man, oh man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need to push up front too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way. At least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have any. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Brosmer. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble, it'll be third down. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller and certainly if you're the quarterback that you're going to have time to throw. And that pass picked off. They didn't give him much on the return, but they are in prime scoring position at the 22. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Iowa has the ball back on offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. Man, oh man, that defensive man had a great get-off on that play. Took 
exploded out of his three-point stance. He's able to use the swim move and get to the QB. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Off play action. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Man, this guy is just starting to take this game over. Sack on first down, sack on second down. Now on third down, this offense, they better identify where this guy's lining up. They better get him double teamed because they can't block him. And guys, they really need to take advantage of this field position on third and long. To the air, it's McNamara. He'll take a deep shot here. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback. And they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And now the lead is even bigger. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. Out of the end zone. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. Solid pick up of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Glenn. And they pick up just a few on that completion. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stops. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Discards a man. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Now the play fade. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. 
To the air, it's Brosmer. Spits it out to the back. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. With the catch, it's Taylor. And as an offense, that's just why you cannot get behind the sticks in these types of situations. Third in California is hard to complete and is hard to convert for anybody. And even though the running back is able to do something positive on that third down play, it's just too many yards to gain, and now they're forced to punt. On fourth down, going to the air. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll give it to Johnson. He'll push his way out to the 38, pick up a three. That's such a nice start to this drive, too, because you've got the lead late, and you want to run the football. You want to be physically dominant. Defense knows you're going to do it, and still, on the very first play of the drive, you're able to rip off a long run like that. Great vision there, and a nice job up front with the surge by the O-line. They believe they can run right here. Couldn't find a lane. A pickup of one to the 31. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. The snap sets up the throw. This will be picked off. Maybe just the turning point they needed. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Minnesota! How fast did this game just change? Offense in the lead with the football looking great. Defense makes the big play. We've got ourselves a ball game now. up to add another. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll return it. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. They'll leave it with him. On the move at the 30. And there they go again with another huge gain on the ground. He's finally run out of bounds. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. The Hawkeyes headed quickly to the line. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Got his man downfield. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would be trying to run the football, right, or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Leaves it with the running back. And this guy really has been a workhorse today. He's made plays when his offense has needed them the most. He's a guy who's reliable. They know they can turn around, give him the football, and he'll go make things work out. They're going to need him to finish this game. He has to continue playing well after that big run. There. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. 
He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. You know, every running back thinks about the 100-yard barrier every time they take the field. And this guy, you know he's got it in his mind. He might be the only one in the stadium right now that knows. He's got 97 yards rushing here in the fourth quarter. You know he is begging his coach just for one more carry to get that mark. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. They'll line up for a second down play. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Dropping back, it's McNamara trying to get to it. And the defense makes a play, and they get the quarterback down at the 26. I think if you're the head coach here, it's a bit of a mixed reaction to your passing attack so far in this game. you put up a bunch of yards throwing the football, you've lit up the scoreboard, but you've also given up four sacks. Pass protection has been a problem so far in this game. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Guys, still a six-point game, but a missed opportunity. Well, that field goal could have iced the game, but with the miss, you still got a close one. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little bit of a drive together, but Jesse, they stalled on the other side of the field and they got to find a way to keep that momentum going as they get closer to the end zone. I agree. I, I do like their mindset, though, and I think they need to continue being aggressive moving forward in this game. We've reached a two-minute warning and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Now on second down. He's looking to throw, using the back as a receiver on the screen. And that did not work. Defense smelled that one out from the beginning. I don't love the play call at this juncture in the game. You're down. You've got to take shots. The defense is not going to be blitzing, so these screens probably aren't going to work. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Back to throw, it's Brosmer. He's taking a deep shot. It's complete! A huge pickup! They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. And the Golden Gophers have it with a first and ten. And he needed a little bit wider field as that one falls out of bounds. Passing situation, what do I want to do? I want to bring more guys that can cover guys on the outside. Nice job by this defense, running the dime package, more DBs on the field to match up with all these speedy wide receivers. Line getting set on second down. They keep attacking through the air. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Man, you know the defensive coordinator on that play was holding his breath because in the fourth quarter, you've got one of the fastest players in the game going deep on you. And that's going to be a helmet sticker for somebody. Like forcing an incompletion against that guy? That's incredible. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. After that incompletion, there is so much pressure now on this quarterback to come up with a big play. They need to score a touchdown. They need to keep this drive alive to have any shot at winning this game. But it all comes down to this play right here. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes 
makes the catch past the sticks. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! And once he got loose, it was all over. That is how it's done. In the clutch, in the big time, your offense comes up with a big drive, puts points on the board. Now you tell your kicker, go knock this PAT through, take the lead. Nice execution by this offense. attempt to try. And the extra point gives him a one-point lead here in the fourth. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they put the points on the board with that 37-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Iowa has the ball back on offense. These are the games. These are the moments. This is the opportunity for the finish that people remember in rivalries like this one. And those highlights that are shown for years and years to come. These big-time moments, Palmer, coming down to the wire, who steps up and makes the big-time play. And this is why you lift the weights in the offseason. This is why you do all the gassers and all the sprints. For moments like this, game on the line in one of the biggest games of the year. Shoots it to the left. Not the type of accuracy you typically see from this senior quarterback. Well, they've thrown two straight incompletions, and they just need to play pitch and catch on this next play. They're down a possession, and you don't have to necessarily get the first down right here, but if you don't get it, you've got to at least keep the fourth down manageable to give yourself an opportunity to keep pushing the ball down the field and give yourself a shot to win. Throws for the tight end. A strike downfield. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires to the big fella. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Nice catch by the big target. Those big tight ends, you can tell in football, are just becoming more and more of a weapon on every single team. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Looking to pass, it's McNamara. Fires to the wideout. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Well, the defense finally showing some life there. It's been tough sledding too, because this offense has been lighting them up through the air, but a nice individual effort that time, forcing the incompletion. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. On third down, going up top. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Yeah, and as a defense, boom. One more stop. One more stop. It's fourth down. We're in the two-minute situation. You know they're throwing the football. You get one more stop. You got the lead. You get the ball back. And this game is over. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Makes the grab well past the sticks. Timeout called by the offense. We have 18 seconds left. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. Timeout called by the defense, 13 seconds to go. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. We are getting deep in the game, and this is for the lead. He splits to the uprights and puts three on the board. They have taken the lead in the final seconds, guys, and the celebration has erupted on the sideline.
That last field goal put them on top. They're feeling good, but they can't relax yet. Have to cover this kickoff well. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away. They've got to push the ball down the field. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. And they fight him to the bitter end all the way down to putting some more numbers in the stat column, but they'll come up a little short as time expires. 